I'm Jessica Wolf, and today I'm going to be talking about my internship and who I interned for and all that fun stuff. So, I interned for Stephanie Stiltner, who is the head of Family Connections. She is the person that families and students deal with first um, to get to know the place, to know who they're going to, who's going to be their advisor. Um, she is the first person that anybody ever sees when somebody's interested in U-Pike. She deals with more families than the students, but she also checks up on students and reports back to families, makes sure they're doing okay, sends family care packages, does um, road shows for sports teams, um, and we'll get into that a little bit later. So, how do we get started? Um, I have a friend, Fallon Tallman. She works in student success. And I was really interested in working with her and being a part of the student success, but unfortunately they didn't have any internships available. So I was like, I knew Stephanie. So I was like, does Stephanie do internships? And she's like, yeah, why don't you go talk to her? So I went and talked to Stephanie and that's how this all started. And yeah, it was, it was a very good decision. <laughs> um, so my duties basically because I'm a student athlete, I'm gone every weekend. I have a crazy practice schedule. Um, Stephanie was worked really well with me on um, when we would meet, what I would do, how things would work. So I didn't necessarily have set hours just as long as I was getting in my 10 hours a week. Um, we would communicate all the time through texting, calling. Um, I would just show up to her office. If she needed something, I was always available. Um, I took care of like little things, um, but still was a part of the big picture and saw how she interacted with families and how things like that work. Um, I was, she did a road show for the cheer and dance competition in Bowling Green and I set up um, everything that that entailed, including what they were gonna do for dinner that night um, and just really helped Stephanie get everything set up. I called, um, got their hotel reservations and that might not seem like big duties, but like, I've never spoken to a hotel. I've never um, really done any of that. Like, I always had teachers, professors, parents to do that for me. So, like, actually talking to somebody and making reservations and getting deals and getting dinner reserved, like, that was pretty cool to start. That was my first um, duty that I did for Stephanie. Um, also, it was really cool. She made me my own office in the Student Success Center, so I could go in there, and I had my computer and a little desk, and so that's really where I was at working on stuff like this. Um, so, yeah, that's how most of the internship went. So, the big thing that my internship was about was going to be something called the Science of Bowling. So, Stephanie came up with this idea and she started telling me about it and like I almost wanted to cry because it was just so me like take bowling take communication put it all together and here we are so basically what it was going to be is um I would meet with Pike TV and we were going to do a TV show called the science of bowling and it would talk all about bowling what it is and then all about science and what that is and put the two together and make a TV show out of it to get people who aren't bowlers to understand a little bit about how bowling actually works and how it's a sport and, you know, just the very basic stuff, but stuff that people should know. So a couple of the things that we did before corona, the coronavirus hit, um, I met with Dr. Arts, who is our physics professor at UPike. And we talked a lot about the things that we wanted to do and um, how we wanted to get the message across so that people who don't understand could understand. So one thing that we really wanted that I have actually to show is to get people to understand like what the inside of a bowling ball looks like. So this is a asymmetric core of a bowling ball. And then this one, is a symmetric core of a bowling ball. So this one, since it's symmetric, it goes really long and it's really smooth and it doesn't have very many ang angular turns, I guess you could say. It just has one continuous smooth motion. And with the asymmetric, 
because the core is like this, it'll roll down the lane and it'll make a sharp turn because it doesn't have the smooth core and has this rough edge. And not many people know that the inside of bowling balls even are different. And that's, so I wanted to really show that, that that's the main part of what the science of bowling is. And then you have like the oil on the lanes and the lane machines and the pins and what they're made out of and what the lanes made out of it. If it's made out of synthetic or wood, there's just so much that goes into the science of bowling. And it was going to be such a cool thing. And we were supposed to start fil filming the Tuesday after spring break, but unfortunately we never made it back due to the coronavirus. But I do believe that it would have been something really cool. Um, we could have used it as a tool for um, recruiting for Bobby or just to put on our Facebook page and to get other teams to see and even like students at UPike to see that you could come here and actually have projects and, and not just be boring math and science stuff like you could do stuff that obtains to you and your major and what you love and this was the main part of my internship and I'm so sad that it didn't get to happen but I've been talking to Stephanie and hopefully um, the next bowler who also is a communication major will take this project and I'll work with them and get them to start hopefully get this done because I know Dr. Arts was really willing to help and so was Pike TV so hopefully we can get this done in the future. So like I said coronavirus ended um, the school year my internship, bowling, and did everything. So it's really sad, but I'm still in touch with Stephanie. Um, she's had some very nice things to say. Definitely told me if I ever need a reference or um, if I ever come back and visit and don't see her, she'll have some words to say. Um, but yeah, um, it ended it ended really sad, but I know that if I ever need someone or need anything or to just talk, Stephanie will always be there. We didn't just I didn't just work for her, do things for her, like we built a relationship and um, she definitely um, is now a friend and not just a professor or the head of Family Connections. She is someone that I can count on and I know she'll always be there. So even though it didn't end how we wanted it, I didn't get to do the things that I wanted to do. It was a very great experience and I couldn't have asked for somebody better to work with than Stephanie. So yeah. <laughs>